Today is a different kind of vlog. Five, six, seven, eight. On one hand, we have an Emmy Lower brunch with a live artist that I'm really excited about, one of our favorites. And on the other hand, I have some news to share with you. Stand like an old husband and alter it's in you don't falter if so then so much about life is about letting go. Letting go of what we thought we knew or who we thought we were. So today I have to share with you that India, the co-founder of Imiloa and the operations director, is no longer with the company. For them, for them, for the As is the case with most things that happen, there are three sides to every story. There's ours, there's theirs, and then there's the truth. The truth is, is that the pandemic has brought a lot up for a lot of us and caused a lot of reflection for our lives. India is on a very unique path of self-discovery and that path is no longer aligned with the operational needs of this company or the people that are here. Now, even though this is a little bit of a breakup, I want to say thank you. Thank you to India for her contribution, for this world-embracing vision, connecting humanity's heart with its head from a spirit of service and a posture of learning. Because I am being asked by different people to be a bridge to the Mamo, to the Chiquivo, mm -hmm. to the Bri Bri, to the... Mm -hmm. Like I just all of a sudden fell into this amazing role of like building bridge uh -huh. between, you know, one uh -huh. nation and another. When we started Emiloa, we knew that this vision was going to be larger than any one of us and that it should not depend on any one of us in order to succeed and thrive. But saying goodbye, no matter how right of a move it is, is never easy. Leave them by the angels of the water. Leave them by the angels of the water. Leave them by the 